God works in mysterious ways. Um, there you go. We put it this way. With this, I'm going to talk about preparation. Preparation. Because it, it, and it, it's fitting with this because this is a play that I was not prepared for. I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I didn't apply myself. The free time that I could have made, I could have did a whole lot more. That's all right. And so I take that to say, like, what if you're not prepared for God the way you're supposed to be? What if? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to clean. I don't, I don't <laughs> Do you say the prayers that you're supposed to say? Do you honor the people that you're supposed to honor? Do you do you not help people that are homeless? Do you not do you not go out and get food for that person that you see walking down the street and you're saying, "Oh, they they're just going to buy drugs or something like that." But how do you know? How do you know it wasn't a test? What if, what if it was a test and you failed? My focus is to make sure that if I'm doing this with TJ, that we are promoting the most high. I'm not in it for idolatry or if it comes off worldly and starts aiding and abetting what is of the synagogue of Satan, I'm not with it. And let that be on record. I rebuke all that is of Satan. Things that will come down to the end where God would be like, in Judgment Day, did you help that guy on 32nd Street that didn't have any food and you saw him panhandling, looking through the dumpster? Did you help him? Well, no, God. I thought, you know, I thought he was just going to go buy some crack if I gave him some money. You failed. What if? What if? So I ask you, I said something earlier in the play where I was describing uh, going to see my dad and um, the route that it took. And it was fitting because I, would, I say it again, that maybe the route that you're accustomed to that you live day by day is not the route that you're supposed to be taking. Maybe your route's supposed to be a little bit longer, a little bit harder, and a little bit more humbling. Hmm. Hope everybody has a good evening. All praise to the most high. I want to thank you all for tuning in. And stay tuned for many, many more. Good morning, the next evening. Charlie Strong's adventure in the he said, "All right, people. What he said." So you think about that. The next time you get up, you praise God for waking your eyes up and giving you another chance. Because what if your time is up? What if you don't wake up that next day, and then all you had was yesterday? And did you do the best you could? Ask yourself, what if? Another reason why I do this. I mean, it's multiple reasons, like I said. Um, everybody ain't ready for that stage, as you know. You know what I'm saying? And that stage experience is completely different than film or whatever else. So having this running during rehearsal, it helps people get more comfortable and more prepared for the stage. Which title do you think sounds better? Just a baby guy. All right. So everybody chose that. Just be like any other title. Any right. Any TV show that has something that they have to support against so much does it matter? Well, when you talk about super groups, they got a group matter. You know what I'm saying? And that's where we are. You know what I'm saying? I understand Bishop Brown is a brand, but uh, we, the Marvelous Mississippi Sadiddy Diamonds has never been introduced to the world. This is the very first time. No, no it's easy. The Marvelous Mississippi Sadiddy Diamonds. You know what I'm saying? It's like Kurt Franklin and the family. It's like uh, Sly and the Family Stone. It's like Glass Night and Pips. It is a little longer, of course. Marvelous, um, what Mississippi marvelous? The marvelous Mississippi Sadiddy Diamonds. Because y'all like the y'all family last name is Sadiddy. And actually, this is nowhere in the script, but you know, I put some thought into this. Um, you know, y'all come from a long line of Sadiddies. You know what I'm saying? And it used to be the Sadiddy singers. You know what I'm saying? It used to just be the Sadiddy singers. But then when they hooked up with Bishop Brown, then they became the marvelous Mississippi. Sadiddy Diamonds. Like, oh, and, and you know where I got that name from, to be honest? My grandma, God rest her soul, Thelma Louise Strong, her um, favorite choir was the Mississippi Mass Choir, who I sung, I know it, I know, who sung Rough Side of the Mountain. 
you know what I'm saying? I'm coming up. Oh, yeah, that was our favorite song. And so that that's what I envision this group to be, man. And that's that's just real talk. And I haven't shared that with nobody. I haven't shared that during rehearsal yet. So that that's another good thing why why this is a documentary because new things continue to unfold. You know what I'm saying? Like in real time, new things continue to unfold. Um, but yeah, that's where I got that name from because the Mississippi Mass Choir was my uh, my mom's favorite group, favorite choir. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that's November 26th. The, the number one thing to know about this character is he's older than Bishop Brown. Well, no, this ain't Bishop Brown. This is Boogie Brown. So yours is is that you be easy, pockets be cheesy, need a new breezy. And then everybody say, what is she, what is she, what is she? It's that you be easy, pockets be cheesy, need a new breezy. Where is she, where is she, where is she? It's very simple, it's very simple, very simple. But you gotta do it on beat though. You gotta look, you know what I'm saying? You gotta look for it. It's Ducky B Easy, Papa's B Cheesy, need a new crazy. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? And then it's, what's going to make this so good is everybody has to do everybody's theme song when they come on. So it ain't just you. So so you're going to need to solve on this beat. Everything. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's Ducky B Easy, Papa's B Cheesy, need a new crazy. Where is she? 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 Is Dougie be easy? Pockets be cheesy? Need a new breezy? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? And that's what's going to make this show so special because everybody does everybody's dance, everybody does everybody's song. So we got be the Bishop Brown, be the Bishop Brown. And then come on, when you go to church, you know what I'm saying? We got the, uh, we got the, uh, Bishop Sidney Bob. Bishop Sidney Bob. Bishop Diddy Bob. Bishop Diddy Bob. I say, I say, okay, so let, let, let's try to come up with, let's make a list of all the all the shoulder dances that we know. Uh, lean back. You know what I'm saying? That's a shoulder dance. You know what I'm saying? The bank head bounce. That's one. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Bank head bounce. Uh, what else is there? Um, shoulder lean, shoulder lean. You know what I'm saying? This is all, this is all, this is all should be your inspiration for the Sidney Bob. You know what I'm saying? So you need to figure out something with them shoulders. You know what I'm saying? You can have your hands in your pocket, your head folded. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, man? I don't want to. You don't want a Sidney Bob? No, I, I have no problem with Sidney <laughs> Bob. I'm not. Sidney Bob. Say it. Yeah. Well, then show me. Then show me. I don't, I don't know you. Well, don't do no capital show. I'm saying, because that's... What's the difference? They're all dead. Okay, so that's what you're going to do? No, but I'm saying, even, even if it was a stroll, and that's not, you might as well put that down. A stroll is one of them. <laughs> yup, that is you show I mean, right. All, I mean, the capital show. Yup, yup, you show them right. Yup, yup. Yeah. You sure all right. You sure all right. That's another one. You gonna have to do some maintenance, but you know. There you go. All right. Well, well come on, man. The show stuff is is open, that man. We about to have a, a another uh, reveal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have to clean. I don't, I don't <laughs> What you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> now you go have to clean them and, and do them right. Don't just do them like that. But look, it's the black fives and look what it's like. Come on, man. I'm sentimental. Now, now of course they're bigger than what you wear, but you remember I gave them what you do bigger than they fit perfect. So you know Puma's one size fit off. What you saying? We got wardrobe stuff in here. Come on, man. This is this is your um, uh, this is your gifting. Yo, yo, uh, yeah. So let's look here. Take them out one at a time. Move this over this side so the world can see. What it say? No, look at what it say on there first. No, no, no. That. Look what it say. Oh, there you go. Is 
y'all get that? <laughs> look, no, look at what it says before you open it. On the other side of it. No, yeah. Look, yeah, there you go. Read what it says. What it says? Okay, so start with the first. Now, I must love you, man, because uh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't give the Jew. I didn't pass something very special down to me. I really <laughs> said that. I didn't pass. I didn't pass uh, Richard Pryor's first and Bishop Brown's first. You know what I'm saying? Take good care of. Me. So this is for the play. In the play, we got we got, and you know about hair, man. I ain't gonna put it. I already know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So the play, the play is gonna show three different stages. <laughs> who we who we start out as, the pimps. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna show who we start out as. You know what I'm saying? Then it's gonna show us getting 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 a little money. You know what I'm saying? Then it's gonna show us when we become saved. You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> Where are we going? No, no, true, but you know, that was Bishop Brown's. Uh, no, that was Richard Pryor. Listen, man, women know how to work it, women know how to work, it. women know how to hook your dress up and tie them up and make it work. Women know how to do it. Listen, man, all right, we don't let the women do, do the wig shifting and shaking, but you got to be present for that. But don't figure it out. All right, so now this is this is special. This is this is Bishop Bishop Sidney's final look. And that's straight from Bishop Brown. Now you're silky. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why would huh? Because he want to be why just like is, Bishop Brown. Why, he want to be see, just like Boogie and Bishop. But well, why would he be one of process on the third one? No, this is this is once he didn't he didn't he didn't, he didn't why made it. Look, it gets better and better. I mean, it starts off napped up. Be, he get his first perm. Perm, and then not so much perm. No, we start out in the eighties or whatever. We start out with the, you know what I'm saying with the pick. In the black fist. No young pimping. Come on, man. So and you gotta remember that pimps too. Are we saved or are we filled with pictures? You see Bishop Brown got the long inches. Don't judge. That that's just like you're talking about. You be, you're being pulled in two different directions. You know what I'm saying? So now once we get saved, we pimp the devil. And we pimp the devil by resisting sin. Come on, man. These characters and these these this stuff has been been developed. This stuff has been developed. Like for real, man. Don't don't just be quick to object stuff. I'm not. A, I'm asking you questions. All right. I have no problem answering. Yeah. And then keep in mind too. Keep in mind too. We have to at the comedy show. We have to do a preview of the play. You know what I'm saying? Thank you all for watching. This was like. The most classic I'm back video yet. You know what I'm saying? This is this is meeting number five. His first one. But like y'all just seeing God work. I can't write this. I could not write things going like it did today. But that's why I always say, man, it's God, not me, man. And I peace look. Much love. I told you keep that dang uh, highlight. You know what I'm saying? Anything? All praise to the most high. But that, but I don't see why I wouldn't be in the database. That is a long time to stay. I'm gonna check. Is it a, is a black historical book? It's a black, yeah. And that's why it's not a database. It's not a database. They, they did it like that. They got rid of it. Let me go check right now. That's important. I won sixth place stake uh, my freshman year doing, uh, doing, this, doing this poem. This is the poem I wanted you to do uh, if you was gonna do poetry before you said prose. It was either poetry or comedy. You said just talking, so now it's problems. I read that. I know it's not. Thank you. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh. 
Well, one thing you will learn, we're a lot, individually we're a lot. So take it with a grain of salt when you're watching these videos. Primary focus, my focus is to make sure that if I'm doing this with TJ, that we are promoting the most high. I'm not in it for idolatry or if it comes off worldly and starts aiding and abetting what is of the synagogue of Satan, I'm not with it. And let that be on record. I rebuke all that is of Satan. I rebuke all those in secret society scenarios. It's like I denounced Cap out Messiah, Masons, all that stuff. I don't I don't deal with that. Y'all go hard. If you're with that, go hard. Go hard. Because the most I would rather you be hot or cold. Don't be dancing side by side. So yeah, live your life. You're about free will and do you. Do you go hard. One hundred. I got no problem. Don't push me on your agenda. I got no interest in it. That's all I got to say. So. Don't hate. Don't hate. You guys get to do your stuff and promote and sneak behind shadows and do all the boot shot shit kind of scenarios, stealth mode. So don't hate when we do a play. It wants to magnify God. Don't be sending plants to destroy the play. Don't be sending people to mess with the sound to, so they can't hear us. Put all that hate. I don't hate on you, so don't hate on this. Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what was I talking about? Huh? What was I talking about? I just ran into the door. Huh? I was just ranting. Oh, about what? I'm gonna have to, you know, look I gotta room. watch it to <laughs> see. <laughs> oh man. But then you um, doing your pros. And something y'all is if I'm just gonna just give, give some, some some tips because you know yeah we read it and said without structure you know but something to make it good or, or not just good to make it great take it over the top is if whatever you name you have a have a sentence or a phrase that you say you know throughout like as you're telling the story and then you go back to you know. Um, um, Coals from, you know, diamond from coals, you know what I'm saying, or something, and you just tie everything back together, diamonds from coals, or whatever, you know, and, uh, because that will really look like, you. it's really prepared, you didn't have it for a while. I mean, I want I mean, you didn't brought it up. You I mean, just said it. I did, but that was because it was like, yeah, I already talked about it, so I'm just going to slip it in through no, the conversation just, you and keep going. To say what you, but we have talked about it. Though. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, well, that was to, to yeah, add on me leaving everything. That's the, I that, left that's, everything. Listen, <laughs> this is okay. See, see what just happened here. This is what you get with somebody with a database for a memory. <laughs> everything, everything is when he talks. You gonna know the date. Oh man! And every dad gum thing from was, point A to Z that's happened. He, he will tell you <laughs> it over and over. Taking a while. From 205 to 206, <laughs> 219. But let's go back to 2007 real quick to get to what happened in 2008. No, I was on the front page. This, see, this is what he does. <laughs> Collegiate. This is what he does. Straight up. It's that you be easy, pockets be cheesy, little breezy. Where is she? 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 But my point being, my point being is that this is, this is what I struggle with. This is what you feel that you can. And it doesn't even matter, even if you do understand, you can't put yourself in that scenario. Not me. Like, no. I'm not you. Exactly. That way, how I 
totally don't understand something that you make that you do makes perfect sense to you. That's what I'm saying. So that's that's the yin and the yang of it all. My response to what you're saying, it ain't I'm gonna do whatever I want. Um uh, it's you know, through prayer and fasting for sure. And just continue continuing to see God and like make sure my heart is in the right place. And I and I believe at the end of this the the program, November 26th, I believe that God is going to use all of us, all seven of us, to capture the heart of the audience, the live studio audience, and capture the hearts of the audience around the world. For him, not us. But um, I believe our heart is going to be seen. That's all I know. I hate you. Oh, well, like, say that. No, say just, that in the it show. It just makes me. It just makes me sick. Say that in the no. show. You like so you gonna be like David oh. Ruffin? I see that now. Who? David Ruffin. The Temptation. Yeah, ain't no Temptation without David Ruffin. David Ruffin. And so you so so quit the group throughout the show, throughout the comedy show. Quit the group, and then we're like, come on, man, come on back, and then you come on back to the group. Like, come on, we gotta have a storyline. Going. That's not a story. That is a storyline. That's like David Ruffin. That's the turn. That's that's making it about something else. No, it's not. It's making it complete. It's everybody should we should be in unison, but but being able to tell a story while we entertain it is gonna work, make it magnificent. So I think you quitting the group, us us improv just what you're talking about right here. <laughs> you're not feeling it. And so, you know, yeah. I think that would be great. I think that would be great. I, I think, think I think that would just be adding more. Oh man! Be doing so more. so what's going? So what's going to see, make no, it better? Then no, no, keep it where it's at. I don't want to leave the ad or take away. No, nah, what's going to help it? See, what's going to help it? What's going to help make it make make it righteous or make it more righteous or no, make it feel it, righteous? It, I'm just nothing. Nothing else is going. I got to just get in the spirit of. I just gotta feel that it's right. That's it. So okay. So, I gotta so, just so, feel it. I don't so, know. I don't know what's gonna okay, make it right. Okay, I understand right. that. I don't I understand know that. What so be. so the songs is your biggest objection no, and this, issue. This, this, the man, whole thing. This, like I said, I've already told them to be asked about it, but convict me on this. I need to be cut. I need to be whatever. I need to feel to know that if I'm if this is against what he wants. And I don't know if it's him or it's me battling it along with the demon saying, "Yeah, it is. Don't do it." So, you know what I'm saying? I so don't you, know, yeah. but you know yeah. what I'm. You know what I'm I saying? Think, I think we're on the brink of something great you know, for just, him. Just bubbling. You know. And look, with that being said, with that being said, think about everything you're saying. So when I got somebody to quit. Sending me something saying that the the guy we serve in worship, you know what I'm saying, ain't real, you know, that should give you more, even more. That should light a fire under you. Because, I mean, you should take that personal, even though it was sent to me. You know what I'm saying? Anybody associated with this who is a true believer, who worships God in spirit and in truth, should be offended by it. You know? But that goes to show me trying to give everybody an opportunity even if they don't believe the same thing as me. So I need the people who do believe the same thing as me to to, to go hard for me in excellence. Because we that's what we rapping. Please, bro, I hear you. This ain't this ain't the, the comedy show more to play is praising me. Period. And you gonna see, <clears throat> you gonna see, you gonna see my greatest performance today. You know. You're going to see my greatest performance today. I'm going to be sharp. I'm going to be, um, I'm going to, I'm going to elevate, bro. I'm going to elevate through this. That's why I said 15 second change, bro. Like, it's never been done. Ain't nobody doing that. You know? And I like, just, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, I feel like, like, I would say, I shook up the world. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. You know? That's how I feel. That's how I feel, bro. And yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. 
That, but that I can't say nothing else but that. So thank you, Lord. Um, you're convicted in your spirit of if this is right or not. But then you got somebody who was a part of it but quit is saying it ain't right because he ain't real. No, that's my point, though. Right. That's my point, though. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. And I promise him that I, I will serve him till I die. And I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Straight up. Can't even write that. <laughs> I didn't know. That came from me. <laughs> it's for real. My heart is with him, bro. That's all I know. And in the opposite side, I know it. So I need the people on the same side to know it too. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Now you can make all the faces that you want to, man. Straight up. The other side, no. I need mean, this side. I think it's my, well, he's not my past. I'm trying he's to, kind of my past. Yeah. yeah. He's in Louisiana, but he keeps in contact sometimes, though. I'm saying, is hold he, on. how do you act, on. though? Hold you don't show me, but how do you act? I'll, I'll show you. He funny? No, he just, he just, he just cold. He cold. Cat. But he, but he, but he righteous and solid? Yeah, bro. All right, then bro, that's what I'm you got to do. Be stand up. Yeah. I'm like a young Bishop Brown, like a young Pastor Barbie. Oh, <laughs> I like yeah. he, used to be, he used to be in the street. I can tell. Yeah. Oh, I, I can tell the first three seconds. Yeah, he made cool. So I, I see. When I think that's, I, I think of him when I think of that scared. That's like Willie. So I, I, I might, I might reach, I might reach out to him and tell him. Might be a little bit of an idea, and I don't know. Maybe I don't know. We'll see what God does. It might be something. See if he can come. Yeah, uh, but maybe, maybe one day. I don't know. We'll see what there God does. Go. I'm not thinking that far. But there you go, though. But I don't want to. I don't want to get all in. <laughs> no, I, I rebuke I that. I don't, I don't want to get stuck in. That. I just know. I don't want to get stuck in. In the name of Yeshua, bro. We're, we're on the battlefield. I like you, though. Let me tell you something. Say, bro. Up. Say yeah. bro. All that <laughs> foolishness up in the yeah. church. There you go. Oh, that dude is cold. There you go. So that's so that's that's what Bishop Sadini needs to be. Kind of you know, man. that's what I'm saying. So you and you gotta understand though, Dougie be easy. You gotta be the, the street version of him. But Dougie be easy. You know, you gotta be out there. Huh? I've been saying I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I've been ready to wrap up, but I'm sorry. Oh, you good? Yo, yo, party words, man. Anything you gonna say? To no, no. You gonna be? Uh, you gonna say no. You gonna say Bob? Have a good night. You wanna end it on prayer? We do that. All right. Well, will you pray? Pray, man. This dude always want to put stuff on me. You know what I'm saying? Put everything else on me. So you can do that. For sure. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. You know, forgive me if I made an adjustment that Marlon didn't, didn't agree with or understand. Uh, forgive me for my delivery and reaction and everything else not always been the best. Um, I really want to pray to that issue that he said he was dealing with, both issues that he said he was dealing with. Um, the one that I, I got some, well, I guess I can help with both, but the one of just not knowing um, about either this being for you and you getting the glory of what we should be doing in the name of Yeshua. Um, I just ask that you just help him to be more focused on what he brings to the table. Just had to make a dramatic entrance, huh? Always. 
Welcome to your first group rehearsal. And you coming to the No. See what I'm saying? I already told you. No, you said on the phone, I'm coming Sunday. That's the nice thing. Everybody's supposed to be there tomorrow. Well, then tomorrow's the one I wanted you to make, man. Man, come on, dude. I'm here. I'm here. Don't fight. I'm here. I need you here tomorrow. I have. Huh? I need you here, man. I'm at work tomorrow. I'm at work tomorrow. Y'all see what I got to deal with? You know what I'm saying? The conflicted street pastor, you know what I'm saying? Willie, Willie, Willie Carl won't stop. His dog ate him. <laughs> like, I got to deal with y'all. You, you at work, but you're here, but right. Like, no, I, have, I told you that Saturday at Bible study, I was coming at the Bible study. I told you that. Yeah, you said I, you, you, uh, uh, I, I've been uh, back to uh, remember that, uh, 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 uh. but you, can, but you, exactly but you most baby. recently on the phone said I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> that was just thirty minutes to an hour ago. Though. That would be more funny. Ain't no yeah. funny to this, man. Yeah, yeah, Ain't no funny to this. I need you there tomorrow, man. Won't be for an hour. Tomorrow. I'll be there. You ain't gonna be at work the whole time. I want some more of them wings. <laughs> Bit off more than you more than you can chew. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Is that what you that what you saying? Your title is? No, I was playing with it. So you need to you need to think of something that encompasses you being wherever you was at, lost wherever you was at before you pledged Kappa Alpha Psi, and then when you pledged, how uh, your world pretty much got turned upside down even more, and you thought that it was for you, but as you was going through your journey, it still wasn't for it. Like you still wasn't as connected to it as, uh, and, and God was talking to you. You know what I'm saying? You met me through it. And then, I mean, you can, I don't know how much of me you include in this, but I mean, you can even talk about how, you know, you start seeing a change in me. You start seeing, you know, God doing something in my life. And um, he was doing something in your life at the same time. And then, ironically, he didn't um, kind of let us back together while we're going through a similar pleasure process, but spiritual instead of physical this time. And just, I mean, you should, you should include losing your brother. You know what I'm saying? You should include your father being sick. And whatever the title is, the title should represent not giving up. The title should represent, you know, uh, more, it'll never put more on me than I can be. You know, it, 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 it should be, I know that you still got question marks with your brother and his death. I know you got question marks with what your father's going through right now. I know you got question marks with your biological father. So what I'm saying is use all that as motivation and um, whatever this phrase you come up with, be something, make it personal, make it spiritual, make it intimate about maybe you asking God, why me? Or whatever God's telling you. That's, that's the direction that this should go. Anything come to mind? No, it's in the process of what you just said. And being the rock, you know what I'm saying? All that, all that. We got time. Huh? We got time to get that. Oh, you hanging with me today? No. Hang on. Here. Man, we only got an hour okay. and less. Um, so, all right. So, I need that before before you leave. I need that title before you leave. If you love God, do some diddy bop. Do some diddy bop. Do some diddy bop. When I'm in the pool pit, they say do the some diddy bop. Do the some diddy bop, huh? That's old man there you go. You know, there. So, come on. 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 Come on.
Two major dramatic entries. Let's get to work. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I just, I just came up with the foot kick. But you yeah, know, that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's all about. Right. 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 When I looked at it, I'm like, just a number I'm going my back out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But you gotta, you gotta balance them shoulders up. You gotta have great coordination. Your shoulders gotta. Nah, you got to the bouncer. Uh uh. You ain't going to be OB. You ain't going to be OB. I'm OB. No, you're not. Because, yeah. I, because I'm dealing with y'all giggling and heckling. Yeah. No, no, no. All right, hold on. About to get it, to get it right there. If you love God, do the Sudanian Bible. Do the Sudanian Bible. Do the Sudanian Bible. When I'm in the poor pit, they say, do the Sudanian Bible. Do the Sudanian Bible. Do the Sudanian Bible. My shoulders don't be. Because y'all have to deal with y'all. Just keep them going. Don't, don't stop them shoulders. It's, it's two days. It's just a two days. You want to go to school. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can get you. Look, you know, All right, come on. You gotta do. You, you gotta do the words now. If you love God, do the Sidney Bop. Do the Sidney Bop. When I'm in the pulpit, they say do the Sidney Bop. Do the Sidney Bop. Do the Sidney Bop. If you love God, do the Sidney Bop. Do the Sidney Bop. So these guys go on too, but then that Sidney is a different beat. Amen. Do some anybody. If you love God, do some anybody. Do some anybody. Do some anybody. When I'm in the pulpit, they say do some anybody. Do some anybody. Do some anybody. If you love God, do some anybody. Do some anybody. Do some anybody. When I'm in the pulpit, they say you gonna do that again? No. Oh goodness gracious! Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you got you got to move them shoulders with intent. <laughs> they got the intentional shoulders. There you go. There you go. Look how that just came together. Now you got to get to work. Hold on. Restart. Hold on. You ain't off the hook. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get in here. I'm sorry. Let's get in here. How you good? Let's get in here. If you love God, do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. When I'm in the poor pit, they say do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. If you love God, do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. When I'm in the poor pit, they say do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. If you love God, do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. When I'm in the poor pit, they say do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. If you come on, you know by yourself. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. If you love God, do the Sadini Bop. Come on, come on, come on. Well, most of these, man, this is your first time. You gotta get it out. You know, you want to out. If you love God, do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. When I'm in the poor pit, they say, do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. If you love God, do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sadini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. When I'm in the poor pit, they say, do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. If you love God, do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. When you in the poor pit, they say, do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. If you love God, do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. When you in the poor pit, they say, do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. Love God. Do the Sidini Bop. Do the Sidini Bop. 
Do the Sadiqi Bar. When he in the full fit, they say, Do the Sadiqi Bar. There you go. Do the Sadiqi Bar. Do the Sadiqi Bar. If you love time, do the Sadiqi Bar. Do the Sadiqi Bar. Do the Sadiqi Bar. When he in the full fit, they say, Do the Sadiqi Bar. Do the Sadiqi Bar. Do the Sadiqi Bar. Next, coming to the stage. We got a gentleman who we don't know if it's going to be 10 seconds or 10 minutes. We don't know what he's about to do. But he said, I just want to talk. And I told him, that's called a prose. So next, coming to the stage, you got the talented, uh, I don't know if I can say beautiful or not, but you got another person coming to the stage, extremely talented, dapper, and handsome, and who somebody in the cast said got some muscles. But we're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep that on the low. Okay? Yeah. We're gonna keep that on the low. <laughs> so the name of this prose is called What If? Give it up for Marlon Diaz. <laughs> Growing up as a young boy in the church, you uh, were surrounded by elders and your parents, and, uh, deacons and deaconesses, and just basic members. And they tried to teach you and instill the word of God, things like that. And you hope that you grow up and keep God in your life. As most can probably attest, that when you grow up, you, you stray away. You stray away. The world gets a hold of you. Uh, it's very easy to, to divorce yourself from what you're used to. But what if that's what was supposed to happen? What if life is not supposed to be good and wonderful? What if it's supposed to hurt? What if I'm at uh, we all we, Next chapter. We all say that the devil's a liar. The devil did it. The devil made me do it. But what if it was God who put you? What if your life is supposed to be in change? It's close to God? What if he saw that you were going to have a pleasant life and nothing was going to be wrong and you were going to have this, that, and the other? Frolicking around, all the money you wanted, no care in the world, a great education. But where was God? Ask yourself, where was he? Sometimes we get so comfortable we forget that it was God again. And then we just keep going on about life is good again. You know, eventually, maybe once in a blue moon, you say God was good to me. But did you really be? So, what if? You were supposed to just be sad. What if you were supposed to make mistake after mistake, bills not being paid, being a victim, losing a car, losing family members? It was supposed to cut you so deep to get you closer to God. So ask yourself. Give me a wrap up. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, so in the grand scheme of things, I know this was. What happened to me? What if this happened to me? All praise to Give it Give it up. 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 Give it if you love God, uh, I hope you would uh, do the Sadini Bible. Would it? If you love God, do the Sadini Bible. No, do the Sadini Bible. So, so you're only going to do it twice. If you love God, do the Sadini Bible. Do the Sadini Bible. Do the Sadini Bible. When you're in the pool, do the Sadini Bible. Do the Sadini Bible. Do the Sadini Bible. If you love God, do the Sadini Bible. Do the Sadini Bible. Do the Sadini Bible. When you're in the pool, do the Sadini Bible. Do the Sadini Bible. Do the Sadini Bible. Love God. Oh, you did it.
Give us a Danny Fox. We ain't even in the full fit. They said, give us a Danny Fox. Give us a Danny Fox. Give us a Danny Fox. Y'all know what time it is? Remix. What he said. Next, coming to the stage, we got somebody else very, very talented. We got a brother that's gonna do, he said, I just wanna talk. I said, that's called a prose. So, next, coming to the stage, help me give it up for Marlon Dion doing a prose called What If. Give it up for Marlon. Give an honor to God. How's everybody this morning, or this afternoon, actually? Uh, like he said, I, I just wanted to talk, and he said it was a prose. Does anybody know what prose means? No? It means just saying something without any kind of structure whatsoever. So if you're trying to hear, like, a poem style, you're not going to hear that. You're going to hear straight from me to you, okay? So the title is called What If. And I, and what I, if? I, I, I start with that. Let me tell you a little story. This past year, my father had six strokes, and, and he's hanging on to life right now. I went to see him this Thanksgiving, and uh, as I was going, uh, if anyone drove to, I'm from, my family's from up in Muskogee, Oklahoma, so it's about a four-hour drive. So as I was driving, you know, you put your Google Maps in, and you just, you know, hook it up to your car, and you kind of just listen as you're driving. And normally, when I drive, it'll take me to the highway. I go through Pitt State, go through Fort Scott, whatnot, and then you come to a place called Big Cabin, and then it's a straight shot to Muskogee that way. But as I got to the turnpike on Will Rogers, uh, the, the GPS has said, keep going, keep going straight. And I had seen Big Cabot in my peripheral, but I didn't pay attention to it. I kind of just blocked it out. And I was just listening to the directions, and I kept going. And the point I'm getting at is that going through Big Cabot in Muskogee is something I'm accustomed to. But I use that as a metaphor because what if, what if? God decides that the, uh, the path that you're going isn't the right path? Now, this extra drive took me all through what looked like the Grandview Triangle, if you, you know, a bunch of twisty highways and whatnot, and it was an additional 15 minutes. So what if God what is telling if? you that your path needs to be a little bit longer? I'm going to show you a path that you're not accustomed to. Maybe you need to go through some turns and some things. Just like in the book, it says put on the whole armor of God. And, right. and, and why do we do that? Because... Maybe you're supposed to get feel convicted every single day. Maybe you're supposed to be cut. 
You're not supposed to just have a good life. You're not, everything's not supposed to be bells and whistles and no problems. Your bills are always paid. You're struggling to pay that bill. Sometimes you don't know your next meal is. Sometimes you can't do anything. You know, you, the marriage is struggling. Your kids won't listen. And maybe that, that's your conviction. That's God testing you to see where your faith is. Are you going to listen to me? Are you going to abide by me? Are you going to do what I'm telling you to do? Or are you going to do what's comfortable for you? Because that, that's just what you're used to. So maybe I'm going to throw some problems at you. Maybe I'm going to make you fall down. Maybe I'm going to make you struggle, make you cry, and ask why. These are things that you've got to ask yourself. Because if that sky opened, and, and the heavens came down, and God came to judge, what if, what if he looked at you and said, I don't know you? Huh? What about everything you thought you were doing was right was absolutely wrong? You know, maybe what they like to say that you're half-stepping. You think it's good enough, but what's that song, that old song, uh, I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough? Mm -hmm. What if? What, what if? if your best was not good enough? What if he told you, I don't know you? So I urge everybody tonight to just reevaluate what you're doing. Think about it. Get on your knees and, and really pray. Ask God, I want to be convicted. I want to be cut every day because that's the only way I know that you're real. Because if things are just good, you're going to keep living life the way it is. And, and, and that might be the wrong way. All praises to the Most High. Thank you. Appreciate that, brother. State fall 2000 we uh, we ventured in a fraternity together and uh, as we got a little bit older and a little bit wiser we we knew that wasn't the route but it's still a pleasure to keep in touch with this guy and let him uh, do his dreams and be a part of his dreams now next coming to the stage since the brother want to give Timothy John such a personal heartfelt introduction let me do the same thing in return now listen, this brother said we was a part of a tourney. Y'all heard me talk about being a part of a gang. A lot of times when people speak of those things, they wasn't really in it deep. You hear me? People in fraternities that jump in and out, most of them is what you call paper, meaning they didn't play it. This brother, if I can share, had two paddles broken on him the first night in real life. So I said that to say, when it came to the fraternity, that was my rock. 
And then on the spiritual journey, that's been my rock. You know, and so I just said that to say, he's about to do a selection. Uh, I wanted everybody to do something. Now, he didn't want to do no poetry because he's he a little difficult still. He didn't want to do no poetry. I said, all right, don't do no poetry. He didn't want to dance. He said, I ain't doing no shaking and twerking like that. I said, all right, don't dance. He didn't want to sing. I ain't no singer. I said, all right, what you want to do? I just want to talk. I said, that's called a prose. Storytelling. So this brother came up with the original idea of a prose entitled, What If? So before he comes to the stage, I'd just like to say, what if the relationships and friendships that we have with people in the world are actually meant to have in the body of Christ? So that when we're on our journey trying to get closer to God, we're not alone. What if? By Marlon Dion. Give it up, 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 this is a play that I was not prepared for. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't apply myself the free time that I could have made. I could have did a whole lot more. That's all right. And so I take that to say, like, what if you're not prepared for God the way you're supposed to be? What if? Do you say the prayers that you're supposed to say? Do you honor the people that you're supposed to honor? Do you, do you not help people that are homeless? Do you, not, do you not go out and get food for that person that you see walking down the street and you're saying, oh, they're, they're just going to buy drugs or something like that? But how do you know? How do you know it wasn't a test? What if, what if it was a test and you failed? Things that will come down to the end where God would be like, in Judgment Day, did you help that guy on 32nd Street that didn't have any food? And you saw him panhandling, looking through the dumpster. Did you help him? Well, no, God. I thought, you know, I thought he was just going to go buy some crack if I gave him some money. You failed. What if? What if? So I ask you. I said something earlier in the play where I was describing uh, going to see my dad and um, the route that it took. And it was fitting because I, I say it again that maybe the route that you're accustomed to that you live day by day is not the route that you're supposed to be taking. Maybe your route's supposed to be a little bit longer, a little bit harder, and a little bit more humbling. So you think about that the next time you get up, you praise God for waking your eyes up and giving you another chance because what if your time is up? What if you don't wake up that next day? And then all you have was yesterday and did you do the best you could? Ask yourself, what if? All right, brother, appreciate that. If you love God, do the Sadini Pop. Do the Sadini Pop. Do the Sadini Pop. When he's in the pulpit, they say, do the Sadini Pop. Do the Sadini Pop. Do the Sadini Pop. Y'all know what time it is? Easy pockets, be cheesy. I need a new crazy.